today is your strength one workout. You're gonna be doing chest, legs, and back. This workout, you're gonna start with a dynamic warm up. You're gonna move into your stretch series, and then you're gonna do two different circuits. Each exercise in the circuit is gonna be comprised of 30 seconds. Then you also have a bonus round. In the bonus round, you're gonna go around that circuit two times, and that is optional and for you clutch overachievers. And the equipment that you're gonna need today is a pull-up bar, a set of dumbbells, or resistance bands. And for today's workout, we have clutch body shop athlete, professional firefighter, and former NFL football player, Michael Gasperson joining us. And remember, for today's workout and every single workout in the Clutch Life 24-7 Fitness Trainer, you can follow along at home in real time using your tablet, smartphone, TV, or computer. So let's get started with the Strength One workout and begin our dynamic warm-up. Starting with jogging in place. Michael's gonna get us started. Each one of these exercises in this dynamic warm-up is gonna be completed a total of 30 seconds. And again, Every warm up that you do as part of this trainer should be on a scale of seven to 10, 10 being the highest intensity that you can have. So you want to, you really want to be pushing it during the warm up. We want to get the muscles ready to do work. Good, just about 10 seconds left. How are you feeling today, Michael? Ready to kill it? Yeah. <laughs> Rejuvenated. Four, three, two, one. Good, moving on to the next exercise, jumping jacks. Here we go. So Michael's taking a nice wide stance. Don't half-ass jumping jacks. I hate seeing people at the gym kind of going like this. Come all the way up, bring your feet nice and wide. Good, just about halfway there. Good. It's important that you're really focusing during your workout, getting your mind in the zone for the workout that is about to take place. Good. Four, three, two, one. Good, we're gonna get right into butt kicks. Warm the hamstrings up. Good, Michael, if you can just turn to the side, show the people at home the angle. So his knee is staying right underneath his hips and that leg is just coming right back to his butt and kicking it, hence the name, butt kicks. Good, keeping the upper body nice and relaxed. While you're warming up, you don't wanna be holding your breath. You wanna be breathing, you wanna be loosening up. Good, just about 10 seconds left. Good, five, four, three, Two, one, switching right into a switch kick with arm circles. So he's kicking those legs out, getting those shoulders nice and warmed up. Keep in mind that his arms are just parallel with his shoulders. We're trying to get the shoulder socket nice and warm, get blood moving into all the muscles. They are about to work today. Good, five seconds left, four, Three, two, one, moving right into walking high knees. Let's get our hip flexors nice and warmed up. Michael did a lot of these back in his football days. Yeah. There we go. So again, with all of these warm-up exercises, you want to make sure that you're keeping your core nice and tight. You don't want to just kind of be throwing your body around. We're trying to tell the body, hey, guess what? We're getting ready to work. everything nice and engaged. Good, in five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, all right, so that concludes our dynamic warm-up. We're gonna move right into our stretch series. Perfect, getting right into it. Our first exercise is a seated hamstring stretch. So he is going to sit on his butt. His feet are coming straight out in front of him. Good, and he's just reaching out. And see, he dropped his head immediately when he did these because he knows he's a highly conditioned athlete. You should feel this at home coming all the way down your back and right into your hamstrings. If you can't get all the way out to your feet, again, that's okay. You can always hold on to the back of your calf because by the end of this program, you should be able to get out to your toes. Okay, good, so he's gonna come up, he's gonna shake it out, and then he's gonna go right back into that stretch. And again, the reason that we do each one of these stretches twice is because your body's natural response to being stretched is designed to protect itself. So if I was to step out of my car and twist my ankle, that stretch, my body's natural inclination is gonna be to fight against that. So when we go into the first stretch, you're gonna find that you feel a little bit tighter on that first stretch. By that second stretch, your body goes, oh hey, 
I'm not injured, I'm just stretching. And so you're able to get deeper into that stretch, which is exactly what we want. Good, all right, come all the way up. Now we're gonna move right into our next stretch, which is a quad stretch. So Michael's gonna stand up. Again, you can also do this stretch on the ground if you're so inclined. He's just gonna bring that foot right behind him. If you can't balance on one leg, that's okay. You can use something nearby to hold on to. Sometimes as your body's getting warmed up, your balance may feel a little bit off and that's completely fine. So again, Michael's keeping that knee right below his hip and his foot is straight back. Again, through these stretches, you wanna make sure that you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. Don't hold tension in your face. Sometimes I see people stretching and they literally look like, ah, you should be relaxed during this time period. Good, and relax. He's gonna shake that out. He's gonna go right back into it. One more time. The more you breathe through these stretches, the more you're gonna oxygenate the muscles that are about to work, and that's exactly what we want. Also, when you pump oxygen into the muscles, it's gonna help the muscles to relax, so you're gonna get more out of these stretches. Good, just about halfway there on the second stretch. 10 seconds left. Good, and five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, let's move it over to the other side. And again, when you're going through this stretch series, you really want to be mentally getting yourself, your head should be in the game. You shouldn't be looking around if you're in a gym, you shouldn't be looking around seeing what other people are doing. If you're at home, you shouldn't be text messaging. This is the time to really set your intention and to get your head in the game for what's about to happen, which is you're gonna give 100% to this workout just like you are with every single workout in this trainer. That's how you're gonna get the results. Got five more seconds left on this side. You feeling warm? Oh yeah. Good, and relax. He's gonna shake that out. Come right back up. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Good, just about halfway there on this second round of quad stretch. This is gonna be really, really important, this stretch for today's workout because we're doing a lot of legs. Good, five, four, three, two, one, good. Moving right into a sumo squat stretch. So he's gonna take a nice wide base and just drop your hands right down to the ground. Yep, just let your butt drop all the way down. Michael can get a little wider on this stretch than I was able to during our body weight workout. 10 seconds left. This is, again, excellent for warming up and opening up the hips. Our hips get really tight because we spend so much time sitting down. Good, and relax. Just come up, shake it out. We're gonna move right into the next round. Perfect. Again, he's keeping his back nice and straight. He's not bent over. Everything, he's in the perfect position for this stretch. Okay, good. good, about halfway there. After we finish with this stretch, we're gonna move right into our upper body stretches. Good, 10 seconds left. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, on our feet, right into our dynamic chest stretch. He's just gonna shake out. Again, he's not forcing it and ripping through his body. We're just getting the body nice and warmed up. Perfect. That's like perfect form. I mean, just killing it right out of the gate. I gotta get trainer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 10 seconds left on this first round. Perfect. And part of this stretch, you may also feel this in your shoulders and that's great as well. Good, and relax, shake it out. Moving right into the next round. Again, you know, so so often at the gym, I see guys working out and they'll just like pump chest all day and then they never stretch. And that's what really creates that kind of shoulder rotation forward. And over time, that's also what leads to injury. So with any clutch workout, we always have people warm up and stretch all areas of the body because that's what really is in, it's injury prevention. But believe it or not, you'll also get better results because the muscles are able uh, to have better uh, mobility and range of motion throughout the movement. 
take a good relax. And we're gonna move right into our across the chest shoulder stretch. So he, Michael's just gonna pull this arm straight across. If you feel any sort of pinching in your chest when you do this exercise, that is an indication that you need to spend more time stretching your chest because as you're bringing that arm across, your chest is actually contracting. And if you feel that chest wanna tighten up, just spend a couple of extra minutes stretching your chest against a wall or however you, you know, against a machine, however you need to do it to make sure you're keeping those muscles nice and lengthened. Good, five seconds left on this right side. Good, and relax. Take it out. Oh, sorry about that. I mean to be hitting you. <laughs> Moving right into the next round. Good. So again, we wanna make sure, you always wanna make sure you're stretching your upper body appropriately. Sometimes people spend time stretching their lower body, never thinking to stretch their upper body. And it's so, so, so important. By keeping those muscles nice and lengthened out, you're actually gonna get better range of motion, better mobility. And over time, that's gonna lead to greater strength gains. Good, four, three, two, one. Moving over to the other side. Especially for somebody like Michael who now has to spend his time fighting fires and carrying around tons of gear and carrying people out of buildings. It's so important to have that flexibility through your upper body. Last thing you wanna do is catch a cramp in a moment, in a moment like that, right? So it's probably super important for you. Good, eight seconds left. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good time. So we're gonna shake it out and move right into the second round. If you're short on time and you're going through these stretches, it is okay to complete each one of these stretches one time, um, but I always recommend two. But if you are short on time, the most important thing is at least you're stretching, at least you're getting the body warmed up and primed for the workout appropriately. Good, 10 seconds left. Then we're gonna move right into our tricep stretch. Good, four, three, two, one. Good, and moving right into our overhead tricep stretch. So again, Michael's pulling that, that arm right next to his head. His head is not doing this. He's, his head is in a neutral position and he's just pressing down on that top elbow, top of his elbow rather, which is perfect. So, I can see this is also coming down into his lat and that's exactly what it should be doing for you at home. You feeling it? I see a little sweat coming down already. A little bit. It's about to go down in here today. Good, three, two, one. Good, relax, shake it out. Moving into the next round. Perfect. Again, you guys, during this time period, you really wanna just be thinking about your intention for what today's workout is gonna be. I think so So many times people get to the gym and they get there and then they've got no intensity. Well, that's because you didn't spend time on the way to the gym committing to being intense once you get into the gym and being focused. So take this time and use it to really get your head in the place it needs to be to give 100% for today's workout. Good, four, three, two, one. Good, relax, shake it out. Let's move on to the other side. We have just about 10 seconds left. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. You know, so often I see people at the gym and they go, you know, how do you stay motivated? How do you get yourself in that zone? Well, the truth is, is that you have to get yourself in that zone on the way to the gym. You can't just show up to work out and be like, oh, now I feel intensity. You need to get yourself in that headspace before you get to your workout. So this is your time to do that while you're stretching, get yourself in that space to give 100%. Good, five seconds left. Three, two, one, good, relax. Okay, good, let's move right into our iliopsoas stretch. So Michael's gonna put his foot out and now he's leaning right into it, up and over his body. Perfect, so again, if you don't feel this, you just need to lean back a little bit more. You should feel this right through your abdominal area, right through here, because that's where your hip flexor, uh, the iliopsoas, kind of lives on each side, except it goes right through the center of your body. So this hip flexor is essential for pretty much all movement, so we wanna make sure we spend some time stretching it out. About five seconds left. 
four, three, two, one. Good, shake it out. Going right into the round two. Good, and again, on each one of these exercises um, during the stretch series, when you get to that second round, you really wanna try and go a little bit further than you did the time before. So go cautiously into the first one, find where you're comfortable, but on the second one, you wanna push into it a little bit more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, moving right over to the other side. So preparing to stretch for this workout is really important because we're working the whole body. So from this workout, you can really expect we're going from upper body to lower body, back to upper body. The whole point of this methodology is to really confuse your body. It doesn't know where to pump the blood. So you can expect to be winded, um, you can expect to be fatigued, but again, those are all good problems to have because over time, your body's gonna acclimate to it, you're gonna get stronger, you're gonna burn fat, and you're gonna be in the best shape of your life by the end of these four weeks, or hopefully you continue on for 365. Good, go ahead and relax. Moving right into the next one. And again, these workouts, they're short, right? So often we're told we have to be in the gym for two hours a day doing body building workouts in order to build muscle. That's not true. If you follow the, um, the building program with the nutrition plan, pair it with these workouts, you will build muscle as well and not have to be in the gym for two hours because a lot of people, myself included, I'm short on time. I don't have two hours. So this is actually a perfect program and something that I follow, something that I have a lot of my clients follow as well. Okay, go ahead and relax. All right, great. Let's get right into our low back stretch. So Michael's gonna lay on his back. And he's just gonna cross one leg over the other. Yep, and just twist down, perfect. Yep, and again, he's keeping his upper body nice and relaxed. Again, you don't wanna have your arm kind of sneaking up. You see that a lot. You really just wanna stay in a completely neutral position. And it, while you're in this position, you really wanna be focusing on breathing air right into that low back. Believe it or not, that will help open everything up a lot faster. Good, relax. I'm gonna shake it out and move right into round two. With any of these workouts, it's so important for us to stretch our back out because all of these movements go right through the center of our body, whether it's um, a body weight squat or we're doing pull-ups. We really wanna keep the body nice and flexible. Good, just about 15 seconds left of this second stretch. And we're getting so close to getting into this workout. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's twist over to the other side. Good, and I can see that this side for him is a little bit tighter, which is fine. A lot of times when you get into these stretches, you will see that one side of the body is uh, feeling a little bit tighter than the other, and that's fine. That's why we're going through the stretch. So if you feel that one side ha needs a little bit more attention, don't be afraid to go through the stretch even three times. Good, five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Good, relax. You know, our body will do really funny things. Because we spend so much time sitting down now, everyone has a side that they favor. So if I'm sitting, my side is my right side. If I'm sitting in my car, I'm always leaning on the right side of my body. So sometimes when I get to the gym, I'll find that the right side of my back is a lot tighter than the left. And that's why going through these flexibility exercises is so important because we don't want to have those imbalances because that actually changes the way that our body fires while we're doing these exercises. Good, and relax. Perfect, moving right into our glute stretch. So Michael's gonna sit up and just keep one leg straight, cross the other one over his body and pull that knee right into the chest. Listen, we gotta warm up the glutes. We're doing a lot of lower body stuff. Last thing we want is a piriformis or a glute to get super, super tight because you know what happens when, the, when you don't have the flexibility through that area of the body is your low back comes in and tries to take over. And that is what will create a lot of problems for you. So with, when it comes to the glutes and when it comes to this flexibility portion of these workouts, you really want to make sure that you are uh, staying focused when you're going through these exercises. Good, relax. We'll go one more time on that side. 
Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes I see people at the gym and they're doing stretching, but they're not really doing anything. You should be slightly uncomfortable while you're going through these stretches. You should feel tension in the muscle. That's a good thing because it's that tension that's then gonna get that muscle to relax and lengthen out. Good, 10 seconds left. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's switch over to the other side. For people who have body fat that they can't seem to get rid of, you know, a lot of that, in my opinion, is due to cortisol because we're so stressed all the time. Our cort- we're cortisol dumping and our body literally is dumping the hormone that is responsible for body fat. So stretching is a great way to relax and the more we can do things that help us to relax and l- allow our mind to be in a peaceful place, the more our body are, is gonna have the balance hormonally to burn fat. Okay, go ahead and relax. Okay, so go ahead and shake it out. So we're moving right into the last round. We are almost about to start our workout. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ready to get it done? Absolutely. Because we're gonna get it on today and you're gonna get it on at home. I know Michael's gonna kill it because we're here to put in work. And that's really the headspace that you need to be in. You are here to put in the work because you want a change with your body. And the way you get that change is by going 100% for the next 25 to 35 minutes through each one of these exercises. Three, two, and one, great. All right, so that concludes our stretch series. We're gonna get right into our first circuit. So let's get started with our first circuit, starting with a push-up. Michael's gonna get into position and go. Each one of these exercises you're doing for a total of 30 seconds. Michael's doing the advanced version, which is a plyometric push-up. For all of you advanced athletes out there, you can go ahead and do the same thing. If you need to do push-ups from your knees, that's fine too, just whatever is 100% for you. Good, we're halfway there. You can also do a variation of both, like Michael's gonna do. Good, we have five, four, three, two, one. Good, we're right into our pull-ups. So I'm just gonna go right over to the pull-up bar, not taking a lot of rest between these exercises. Perfect. Getting his chin all the way over the bar. Perfect. And again, if you're doing pull-ups at home, you can do pull-ups that are just body weight or you can also use a resistance band. Using a resistance band will hopefully help build you up to doing just body weight. Good, perfect. And five, four, three, two, one. Good, right over to squat jumps. Come right over to his mat and let's go, good. So he's coming down just to 90 degrees and exploding up off the ground. And again, with these exercises, along with any exercise in this workout, if you need to take a brief pause during the 30 seconds, take a deep breath, that's fine. The thing that's most important is that you're pushing 100%, whatever that means for you. Good, we are halfway there. Michael's legs, I'm sure, are already burning. Six, five, four, three, two, one, good, right down into our push-ups. Here we go, 30 seconds. Remember guys, as many reps as possible in these 30 seconds. Don't pace yourself out. If you need to go and then rest, go 10, rest, that's fine. Good, 15 more seconds, we're halfway there. Triceps should be burning. You should be feeling this in your chest. You should be feeling this in your core. Perfect. Good, and five. Four, three, two, one. Perfect, we're right back up on our feet, over to our pull-ups, right away. He's taking no rest, he's in beast mode right now. Let's go, good. Four, I think he's gonna get at least 15 out of these 30 seconds. Good, good. Good Good job, Michael, come on. Good, there we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Perfect, okay. So you guys, it's okay to struggle at the end of each one of these exercises. The most important thing is you're pushing 100% for you. All right, let's get right into our squat jumps. Perfect, halfway there. 
good. And last 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. All right, let's get right into our final round, into our push-ups, take a deep breath of air, go. Perfect, 30 seconds, as many reps as you can do. By this point in time, your body is tired and I know that, that is okay. The most important thing, just keep pushing through. Don't give up, don't allow the fatigue to take over your mind because your mind controls the body. Remember why you're doing this, remember why you started this program. Good, 10 seconds left. You guys are so close, good. And five, four, three, two, and time. Good, right into pull-ups, let's go. Your last and final round, really trying to push it, perfect. Good. By this point in time, you should have slowed down a little bit on your speed. That's okay because your body should be tired. This is the third time you've gone through this. Good, perfect. Michael's doing it, executing it perfectly. He's taking a little bit of time between pull-ups and that is fine. Good job, 10 seconds left. You're like almost there. You got it, you got it. Good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Time, good, let's move right into squat jumps. This is our last exercise of this circuit. Here we go, 30 seconds. Good, again, trying to land softly, coming all the way down to 90 degrees, exploding up off the ground. Good. Good, you guys are almost halfway there. 10 second countdown starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, break. All right, so Michael's a highly conditioned athlete, so he's gonna take 15 seconds to get some water. But for everybody at home, if you need more than 15 seconds, go ahead and just pause this video now. Michael's gonna get into position. We're gonna start with a decline push-up. So you can do this exercise off of anything that has a ledge, a secured ledge at home. You can use your bathtub, a chair, whatever you can find. All right, again, each one of these exercises in this circuit, you're gonna do for a total of 30 seconds. Let's go. 30 seconds starts now. Good. So guys, by this point in time in your workout, you're gonna be tired. You've already gone through three rounds. Stay focused, stay in the zone, and just do the best job that you can. Good, halfway there. Perfect. So about 10 seconds left. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, perfect. Now move right on to our dumbbell row. Michael's gonna go get his set of dumbbells. You guys get yours. You can also do this exercise using the resistance band. All right, so again, 30 seconds. He's gonna get into position. Ready, here we go. Perfect, so again, he's in a great position. He's got his back totally straight, his glutes tight. He's got a nice uh, bend in his knee and that's exactly what you should be doing at home. Make sure that you are clenching the glutes because otherwise the low back is gonna take a lot of heat in this exercise. Perfect, we got 10 seconds left. How are you feeling? He's killing yeah. it. <laughs> He's killing it. Good, so you have five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Let's move on to our next exercise, our Bulgarian split squat. So Michael's gonna go right back over to this bench. One leg is gonna get, go up on the bench and the other one is gonna be at 90 degrees. So we're gonna do 15 seconds on each leg. Here we go. Good. He's coming all the way down to 90. I don't want you to pass that 90 degrees. So if you do have a mirror that you can use while you do this exercise, go ahead and use it. If not, just eyeball it. That knee should not be coming out over the toe. Good, switch. 15 seconds, switching legs. There we go, perfect. And again, his upper body is staying nice and straight. All of his weight, he's placing in the heel and pushing straight up from the heel. Good, in three, two, one. Perfect, all right, so let's move on to our next round, back into our decline push-up. Michael's ready, hope you guys are ready at home. Here we go. Again, guys, you wanna get as many reps as you possibly can in these 30 seconds. If you need to take a pause for a couple seconds and then keep going, that is fine. Good, so Michael's staying nice and straight. He's not letting his, uh, his torso drop down to the ground. Good, he's taking a slight pause. Here we go, we're over halfway there. 10 seconds left. 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Getting right into our dumbbell row. Get some breath back into the body and let's get into position. Here we go. 30 seconds. Again, perfect. Perfect, perfect form. He's not jerking. When you're doing this exercise, you shouldn't be using your momentum to bring the weight up. If you're doing that, you're training out of ego. Drop the weight down to a weight that you can do without swinging your body around. That's how you sculpt beautiful muscles. There we go, 20, you got 10 seconds left. I know you guys are fatigued. Keep pushing through this. You are so close to being done with this workout. The worst of it is nearly over. Done, time. Moving right into our split squat. Again, good. Take a deep breath of air. Get into position, get your balance. Here we go, 15 seconds on this leg. Perfect. Michael is in perfect. This is exactly where your knee should be. It's not coming out over the toe and all of his weight is right in that heel. Good. 10, two, one, switch. Perfect. Right onto the other side. You feel that in your booty? Uh-huh. Yeah. Here we go. Good. Five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Moving into the last round of this circuit. Take a couple seconds, take a couple deep breaths of air, and we're gonna get right back into our decline push-up. Last round, you guys, you should be pushing as hard as you can go. This is the last round of this workout. Here we go. Good, five seconds in. I bet Michael's gonna get at least 20 out of this. Good, good, almost halfway there. Keep pushing through, keep pushing through. I know the triceps are burning, the core is burning, the chest is burning. That's okay, that's when change happens. There we go, almost five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Crushed it, yes. So this is your last set. Make sure you're pushing it. Take a couple seconds, get a couple deep breaths of air. What do you think, 20 reps? Yeah. Okay, you guys should try and match this at home, 20 reps. Here we go, and begin. Good, we got 30 seconds. This is our last set. You should be giving it every single thing that you have after this. No more back exercises. There we go. Perfect. Halfway there, 15 seconds left. Good, keep pushing. He's in a great position. He's not bending forward. He's still in the same position that he started in. Perfect, five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, moving into our last exercise of this circuit. Split squat. Good, and go. Good, pushing right through the heel. The intensity is up, guys. You should be using this to just burn it out. Push as hard as you can. There we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch legs. Here we go, 15 seconds, and let's go. Perfect, still pushing right through the heel. He still has great form. That knee is not coming out over the toe. You should be doing the same at home. Three, two, one, time. <laughs> Killed it. All right, so we're gonna move right into our bonus round. Michael's gonna get these weights out of the way. If you need to get a drink of water, do it now. Our bonus round is comprised of two exercises, a burpee and a pull-up. You're gonna do each exercise for 10 seconds and you're just gonna give it all you have. So these are the last 40 seconds of this workout. Let's get into it. So Michael's gonna get into position. So again, the idea of this is just go all out 10 seconds per exercise twice. It's gonna burn extra calories. It's a little extra conditioning. Let's go. Are you ready? Go. Good. Perfect. He's exploding off the ground. Good. In three, two, one. Right into a pull-up. Whatever type of pull-up you want to do. What type of pull-up are you going to do? You do half type right now. Oh, oh, that's nice. Okay. We are five seconds in. Four, three, two, one. Right back into 10 seconds of burpees as fast as you can between these transitions. Good. Right into 10 seconds. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last set of pull-ups, let's go. As fast as you can, in and out of the transitions. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, nice, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Great job, you guys. Great job, Michael. 
killed it. That's the end of your strength one workout. I'll see you back here tomorrow for your cardio workout.